Hey y'all, this is how the hairstyle came out. Keep watching for the tutorial. Perfect. Hey y'all, so this is the look. A slick middle part ponytail and this is just my natural hair. Um, it's on like day three or day four after a braid out. It's gone through a couple different styles so it's not the cutest but it's big and voluminous which is what I was going for with this look. Um, yeah. And then some people apply a ponytail. I think I'll do a second video where I'm putting in a ponytail so that y'all can see that too. But anyways, like yeah, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate y'all being here. My name's Bree. Welcome back or you know, welcome if this is your first time. Subscribe and let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you want to see me do. Okay, y'all, so this is how I started. Um, I just took my hair down. And I'm just going to take some water and put it in there again because I am the only girl who does not have a spray bottle apparently. And so I just take some water and I roll it through my roots. I make sure I get the back and the middle. Um, I just try to make sure the hair near my scalp has water on it. I didn't do too much with the ends to be honest. So these are the products I used. I just used a paddle brush, a regular brush, uh, and some like gels. I don't think you definitely need those gels, but you can use other stuff. Um, I recommend using multiple products though. So I take my rat tail comb and do a middle part. You can do any part that you want, but uh, for this example, I'm just doing a middle part. I don't know why this middle part was struggling with me. Usually I just draw a fucking line. This was not messing with me today. So after I finish making the part, I take the rat tail comb and I just um, comb out the part that's going to be slicked down to make sure that it's smooth. I also make sure to do it towards the back, um, the part towards the back. So there's no like, the part doesn't extend itself. That's where I'm showing you, like, I didn't detangle the ends. My ends are still tangled, voluminous, whatever, curly. Um, I didn't mess with them. So now I'm going to take the first glob of product, and I'm using the Murray's Edge Wax. And, and then I'm going to take some of the Black Gots to Be and put that in my palm and mix it together. Um, this is usually what I do when I slick my hair down. I like any gel products to be honest as long as they're not water based so my hair doesn't curl back up. So from here we're going to start brushing. I like to brush the underside of what's going to be slicked down to make sure that that's all the way back and then I take the, the front parts of my hair to brush those down kind of like slicking your hair down in parts um, but because my hair doesn't take too much to slick down um, I just don't do those steps but if I was really finna go somewhere sometimes I do do that step so now I'm gonna take the powder brush and use it to get out all the cranks make sure everything is to the back and detangled on top so it's nice and smooth Now I'm just going to put it in a ponytail and I use a pretty thick band so that I can wrap it three to four times without it hurting my hair compared to the tighter breaking bands. And let me tell you, this arm shit is a workout. I'm sweating. Look at that muscle. Like. So obviously this ponytail is not cute right now. Like it's not and that's okay because it's not going to stay that way. I fluff it out. I like to pull the pieces, make sure my curls are kind of a little more stretched out, fluff it out, make sure I get volume. 
And I'm just shaping the ponytail with my hands, just playing with it, messing with it until I get the shape that I want. Um, feel free to put water in it, product in it to make it curl up if you want. You can detangle it, but I like mine like this. So from here, I'm going to take the yellow gots to be, and that's what I use to really slick down my edges and stuff like that to make sure they don't come up. And um, I've done a video where I did it a lot of edges not too much but just like normal swoops for this one I'm gonna keep it pretty natural I'm just showing y'all how to slick it down and just an idea of like how to do it with the middle part not everybody does baby hairs So you can pull out some of these little hairs if you want. Um, since mine don't reach the ponytail, I usually like to pull them out, swoop them into a little S, and then twist the excess product on the end to make it curl up. Um, you don't have to do this. You can slick the whole thing down and make that into a curl slicked on your face, or you can put it towards the back, slick it down with the rest of the hair. But this is personally what I like to do. So this is the finished look, guys, and I'm cute. Y'all cannot tell me I'm not cute. I'm dead ass. sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that's how it went. If you like this hairstyle or want to see more hairstyles, please subscribe to my channel. Bye.